As you can tell by the video, I'm going to be fixing my tent today. Uh, last year, or two years ago, or something like that. Kilo, he made a big old hole in my tent. I sort of pinned it up in place right now, but it pretty much goes all the way up. And all the way there. If you want to see that video, I'll link it up somewhere. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> he was pretty much laying in the tent, being all cute, and I zipped him in. I was like, ah, And I went to go get some firewood, and then next thing you know... He's sitting beside me, wagging his tail. I'm like, no! <laughs> so he wrecked my tent. And then I ended up getting the exact same one, like a day later, as a backup. Well, eh. So I'm gonna be using this one with a hole. When I go camping with my dog, when I don't go camping with my dog, I'll use the other one, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing with this, uh, right here, I'm gonna be adding a doggy door. So I'm gonna put Velcro like here and here, and then I'm gonna sew it, and then I'm gonna cut this chunk out and I'm gonna replace it. I got a bug net because I couldn't find any patch kits big enough so I'm gonna be cutting this in half basically and then fitting it and then adjusting it and cutting it to size that I need. So yeah let's get started. Kilo wanted to say hello. Say hi buddy. Oh wait you got some eye boogers. There you go. There you go. Hey, we're fixing that hole you made, bud. <laughs> it's funny, yesterday I set up the tent and jumps right in it as soon as it's set up. <laughs> All right, basically I'm gonna just cut this right on the seams. So then I have some workable material. I'll do the same with this side in case I need it. Checking it out already. He's always the first one in the tent. If you guys never realize this. <laughs> hey, bud. It's in there, bud. Huh? Okay, shoo, shoo, get out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna start by fixing here to here first. I'm pretty much just gonna line this up to there. See where I need. And then I got this material, I don't know, just put on the the edge there so it doesn't fray. And then I'm gonna pretty much just sew that there, flip it up, and then I'm gonna sew this chunk. And then yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done that. Hey <laughs> this is taking longer than I thought. I was hoping this thing was gonna work. Bought it for like twenty bucks but it doesn't seem to like to work too good. But I got, I just stitched this bottom piece on by hand, I guess, and then now I'm gonna stitch along there. Then we'll get the Velcro on after, so. That's where I'm at. So, yeah, chipping away at this until I'm uh, at the Velcro, and then I'll whew, try and make a plan with you guys. <laughs> there, slowly but surely, just stitched uh, that on there. that on the end of the mesh. Now I'm just gonna stitch it onto the zipper. And then after that, we'll be down to the Velcro. Woo! All right, I took a break yesterday from doing this for a little bit, so I'm gonna keep on working on it today. <laughs> it's kinda funny, I'm doing it in the living room, and I'm like, Kilo, move, so I can put the tent back where it was, and <laughs> he's still under there. <laughs> I just plopped it on top of him. He doesn't mind. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll try and finish this up today. Cause I might be going camping with Andrew, so <laughs> gotta get it in. All right, I cut a strip of Velcro the size I wanted. I wanted long enough to go up to here, so then I can make a nice triangle for a little doggy door. I'm gonna start at the bottom, so I know exactly where I want it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
and there's a sticky side on there so it kind of helps a little bit this little gap that's here I'll try and fold this over like that and stitch it on the back after oh, now I'm gonna do the same for here I'm gonna want it to I don't know somewhere about here that should be good Now I'm going to cut a line, straight line from there to there. And then on that straight line, that's where I'm going to put the, the new net. And I'm going to make it so you can roll it up and kind of tie it up with a point, something like that. All right. I drew a line with my paint marker. It's not the straightest, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So I'll fix it with the, this material or whatever that I use for the edges. Just cutting right beside the Velcro. Just because I'm not left handed, so I made a little hole at the bottom so I can keep going in the same direction. Perfect. We got our triangle cut out, so that's good. Oh, I'm gonna attempt to use this little sewing machine again. <laughs> Hopefully it works this time. Whew. We'll try it out. If it doesn't work, I'll probably unclip this. Actually, oh, hold on. I'm gonna unclip everything. And then I'll put it flat, so then the machine can like pull the material through by itself. See if that works better. All right, I'm gonna attempt this once on camera. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna keep putzing around until I get it. Okay, here goes. Saved a lot of time, I think. I just need to cut that. That little sewing machine is like 20 bucks, so I don't know. It was worth a try. It seemed to work all right that time. The other Velcro sewed on. Got that one. Got this corner patched. So now I just gotta work on this big triangle, I guess. I'm gonna try and reuse that seam for the long part. So let's see from here. So I'm gonna cut this. If I can find my scissors. 
Guess I was sitting on him. What do you guys think? That'll probably look alright, eh? With Velcro and then rip that open and then little doggy door. I think it'll be alright by the time this is done. It's just a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm gonna cut this shape out. Use my good old paint marker. Even if there's a little excess, it doesn't really matter. I'll cut it off after. For anybody as good as sewing, <laughs> thumbs up to you. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, to be honest. I thought it was going to be done yesterday in like an hour. <laughs> it's been like four hours. No, probably not that long, but I think I worked on it about an hour yesterday and it's been about an hour today, so two hours. I probably got another little bit to go. <laughs> Before I continue, Kilo's been a good boy. He deserves some treats. Come on, bud. Oh, buddy. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. <laughs> Catch. Stay. Stay. Good. Good boy. <laughs> no. Up. Up. Good. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Now let's keep on keeping on. Put the Velcro on. I figured it'd be easier to stitch it up here down here than, than up there, so let's do it. Just about done. I got it all put together. The pins, the Velcro. I'm gonna put a little loop here, I think, so I could just peel it open. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna get some crazy glue or something and just put it put it uh, along here, just to kind of cover up those little stitch holes and everything. Make sure it won't leak or nothing and won't rip apart. Cause I'm not the best sewer, so. <laughs> It seems to be holding all right right now, so got some Gorilla Glue now, so I'm just gonna dab it all over where I put the Velcro. Then I'm gonna instead of putting like a little loop, I think I'm just gonna put a little piece of Velcro up here, and then one on the inside wherever it ends up being able to roll up, so I can just attach it right there, or so I can attach it like that. I think it'll be easier. Oh, that looks pretty good right there. Just gotta wait for the glue to dry, some pretty so strong stuff. <laughs> As I like gluing it, my eyes are just watering, like I was cutting an onion. Other than that, yeah, just about there, woo! 
It's been a couple of hours, so I figured the glue's good. It's Gorilla Glue, so it should be. <clears throat> so we're gonna test this out. I got some treats for Kilo, see if the doggy door works. All right, bud. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah, and I glued this on and I painted a little bit of it black off. All right, that seems to work pretty good. Okay, bud, get in there. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Kilo, come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. <laughs> right on doggy door successful Woo! <laughs> cool thanks for watching guys thumbs up if you guys thought it was a good idea for to add a doggy door if your dog wrecks your tent and yeah there should be some good uh, camping trips coming soon so subscribe to see some more and see you guys in the next one